Hi friends, if you like my videos, subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon for the latest updates. So in this video, let us discuss about DNA micro injection technique as well as embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer. So firstly, let us discuss about DNA micro injection. So this is a procedure which involves the delivery of foreign gene into the living cell. A living cell is nothing but the host cell which includes egg cell oocyte embryos by using a fine glass micro pipette as well as the micro injection. So by using this both uh, by using this both apparatus we are going to perform this DNA micro injection. So where does this DNA micro injection technique is highly used? It is used in animal transgenesis as well as the rDNA technology also. Right? So firstly let us see how this procedure will be done. And normally uh, this method is mainly used for direct introduction of the recombinant DNA to the host cell. So what is meant by this recombinant DNA? Recombinant DNA is nothing but the modified DNA which has specialized characteristics and that DNA will be introduced into the host cell and that introduction can be done by using this DNA micro injection. So let us see how this technique is performed actually. So this will be your nucleus and you are going to select an appropriate nucleus and that nucleus consists of the uh, so normally the, you are going to select a cell which consists of the nucleus and the nucleus consists of the genetic material where we all of us know that and now it also consists of the cytoplasm so you are going to hold this nucleus with the help of a holding micro pipette with the, this is a micro pipette and you are going to hold this nucleus with the help of a micro pipette right and on the other hand what you are going to do is that you are going to inject this micro injection into this nucleus and you are going to extract this genetic material which is present in the nucleus. You are going to extract the material of this nucleus. So this blue color one indicates the foreign DNA. So this is a foreign cell and you are going to extract the foreign DNA from this nucleus. So this blue color one which I have drawn is nothing but the extraction of the foreign DNA from the nucleus. So this is your foreign cell as the foreign cell consists of the nucleus and it will get extracted with the help of a micro injection. So this will be your micro injection, right? And now what you're going to do in the next step. So this will be your first step. So what is the first step? You are going to extract the foreign DNA from the nucleus. Right. And now in the second step, what you're going to do is that you're going to select an host cell. You're going to select an host cell. And in that host cell, you are going to inject the total foreign DNA into this host cell. Right. Into this host cell. And now what you're going to do is that. And normally this nucleus consists of the genetic material which is in the presence of the DNA. Right. And some presence in some presence there will be a uh, in, in the kind of RNA. And once it will get converted into the DNA, it will enter into the nucleus. Okay. So normally it is present in the host cell where we are going to inject this total foreign DNA. And normally the host cell which you are going to take is that egg cell oocyte as well as the embryos which I have said you. For example, if you are going to take the egg cell, you are going to inject this total foreign DNA into the egg cell and you are going to implant that egg cell into the recipient. And here the recipient includes like rat or else like a mouse. You can we are going to take like this type of recipients. So you are not going to apply this technique directly onto the human beings, right? So you are going to take a recipient like animals. So the most commonly used animals are mouse as well as the rabbit. So you are going to implant this egg cell into the recipient. So what will happen that egg cell will get converted into the embryo such that it will give presence to the offsprings. And if it give and if it give perfect results, then the total micro injection technique is highly positive. But if this shows negative result, then the micro injection technique will also show the negative result, right? But it didn't give the negative result. The, the research has been done with a positive result, right? And here I'm saying you in the case of the egg cell. But if you take the oocyte, then it will be injected into this recipient in such a way that uh, the, it will lead to the production of the offsprings. Uh, and if you take the embryos directly, it will lead to the production of the offsprings right directly without presence of the egg cell because we have injected this host cell uh, like I mean this you are going if you take the embryo you are going to inject this foreign DNA into the embryo directly and you are going to implant that embryo directly into the recipient such that it will give perfect offsprings right so this is about the micro injection technique so what is the first step which you are going to do you are going to extract the foreign DNA from the foreign cell in the nucleus from the nucleus and you are going to inject that foreign DNA into the host cell and that host cell will be implanted into the recipient right so this is the method which is present behind this dna micro injection so now let us discuss about embryonic stem cell mediated transfer so now let us discuss about embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer so i am taking the best example of mouse in this experiment right so this is a mouse 
right and normally mouse consists of blastocyst right so this is a blastocyst so this is a mouse blastocyst i mean this is a blastocyst which belongs to the mouse okay and this blastocyst consists of embryonic stem cells this green color one which i have drawn are nothing but the embryonic stem cells so it is named as embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer so we are going to use the embryonic stem cells you are going to perform this experiment by using this embryonic stem cells so this green color one which i have drawn are nothing but the embryonic stem cells which are present in the blastocyst of a mouse right and by using electroporation technique you are going to uh, extract this total embryonic stem cells and you are going to place that embryonic stem cells in a petri plate so this is a petri plate and you are going to take a petri plate and you are going to place all of this embryonic stem cells which has been extracted from the blastocyst of a mouse right and now what you are going to do in this petri plate you are going to inject a target gene or else a target vector into this petri plate which consists of this embryonic stem cells of a mouse right so what you are going to do in the next step you are going to place all of these embryonic stem cells in the petri plate and now we are going to add the target gene or as a target vector into this petri plate which consists of a embryonic stem cells of a blastocyst of mouse right and now in the next step what you are going to do we are not going to do anything because what happens is that this all of this this embryonic stem cells will get developed into a pure population of a targeted embryonic stem cells so here this this is a target gene vector which i have introduced right then uh, normally these are the embryonic stem cells this embryonic stem cells will get transferred or else will get converted into the target embryonic stem cells by using this target gene once you introduce this target gene then this embryonic stem cells will get converted into the targeted embryonic stem cells why it is named as targeted embryonic stem cells because you have introduced the target gene into this petri plate which consists of the embryonic stem cells right and now what you are going to do with this target embryonic stem cells now you are going to select another another mouse i mean another fresh mouse another mouse and now you are going to you are going to extract that blastocyst you are going to extract the blastocyst from that host mouse right this is a host mouse blastocyst and now with the help of a micro pipette or a micro injection what you are going to do is that you are going to inject the total targeted embryonic stem cells into this blastocyst of a host mouse what you are going to do you are going to inject the total targeted embryonic stem cells which have cultured which have cultured in the petri plate you are going to extract this total targeted embryonic stem cells in a micro injection and you are going to inject them into the host mouse blastocyst and now you are going to implant this blastocyst into the mouse right into the mouse and now the mouse will undergo the fertilization process in such a way that it will it will produce two offsprings and in those two offsprings one of the offspring will be gene targeted mice and another offspring will be normal mice gene targeted mice means what it indicates that this mice will exhibit the characteristic of the target gene which you have introduced right so you have introduced the target gene right so one of the offspring will be definitely uh, gene targeted mice so gene targeted mice is nothing but the offspring which exhibits the characteristic of that particular target gene which you have introduced into the petri plate and another one will be the normal mice which will exhibit the characteristics of this particular mouse which you have chosen so this is about embryonic stem cell mediated gene transfer so in the next video let us discuss about retrovirus mediated gene transfer so thank you for watching this video guys if you like my explanation subscribe my channel like this video and you can also share this video to your friends and if you have any doubts regarding this video you can comment in the comment box thank you